standing there is is Cindy and the girls and the girls standing in the middle is Jessica. 自己站到画面中间哦。And the girl and the girl who was standing there is Grace. And we have another member who is absent today because she's going to sign the visa to visit another country. And I will, I will take her place to introduce her part later. is our e-books here. Uh, first, we want to introduce, present the first group. Uh, the topic is relations of multiculturalism. Before I start this presentation, I would like to ask you a question. Did you ever feel bored living in the same kind of lifestyle for more than 20 years in the same country? And if so, why not try something different? And today's presentation, we're going to introduce a, a special noun that is commonly used in the 21st century, and that is multiculturalism. And I'm going to, and the left side, and the right side is the contents of our presentation. And first of all, we're going to introduce how multiculturalism will affect, affect our country. And of course, multiculturalism will also bring some pros and cons to, to our country. And the third point we're going to discuss about how can we solve the problem while facing cultural conflicts? And the fourth topic is, I'm going to introduce what kinds of cultures are existing in Taiwan nowadays. And the fifth one is, is we are going to discuss how to solve the problem since Taiwan has underprivileged nations living, living here, and how can we solve the problem of not the balancing between between the different kinds of lifestyles. And first of all, now nowadays we all know that multiculturalism affects us a lot in the 21st century, and it is important to to combine with other countries and to interact different kinds of cultures and to become a global village. And and due to multiculturalism, we are, I divide four points to discuss about it. And the first one is the mixture of different kinds of heritages. Since, since nowadays, in our lifestyles, we, don't, we, not, we have not only one kind of heritage. We also combine and blend with other countries' cultures to live in a different kind of lifestyle. And the second point is about the conflicts between different types of cultures. And the third one is stop the enormous and negative effects on powerless cultures. And the fourth one, we all know that it's a nowadays trend in the 21st century, and that is globalization. And in the right side, you can see a picture of women wearing, wearing a special kind of clothes. And that is the picture taken drawn in the Tang Dynasty. And the clothes that these women are wearing were the design were the com combination of the Tang Dynasty and Hu Dynasty. And Hu Dynasty is a special kind of group that lived in the northern part of China 